Hello, my pro banditos, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we arrived here at Stow on Side Town, today we are going to make our way inside of Stow on Side. But before we do that, I want to do some backtracking since I did miss ATM that you guys pointed out. So let's go make our way back to Route 6. It's not going to take too long to make our way there. You guys can see the TM is right next to that campsite. I totally forgot to go back up the other ladder as I was so concerned about getting through to the Pokemon Center to heal up our Pokemon because we went up against some tough challenges here in Route 6. I also want to give you guys a very big thank you for all the tips and comments that you guys left me. Make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. What are you waiting for? We've been having a lot of fun during this adventure. We already got three badges. We got six Pokemon. We got more Pokemon in the PC. And we're going to be adding more teammates as we go. I've been having a blast playing through this game with you guys. I really do appreciate everything you guys do for me. It's always a blast to get to play through these games with you guys. And this one has been a lot of fun. I've been waiting for a Pokemon journey of this magnitude. We got ourselves TM15 Dig. That would make a lot of sense that we would get Dig here where there's a bunch of rocks all over the place. So now we are officially done here on Route 6. We got everything that I wanted and we are ready to make our way back into town. Took a while to get to this place. So I am pumped and I am ready. I know that we are going to have a gym challenge coming up as well because I did see the stadium there. So I hope you guys are ready for our fourth gym challenge. They've been getting tougher and tougher. But so have our Pokemon, so we should be ready to take it on. We're back here at Stow on Side Town. Let's take a look around this place. I gotta check it out. So they have some fruit stalls. They have a couple other things for sale. It's a market. I really like markets. I gotta tell you guys. I've been to a couple markets in El Salvador. They're a lot of fun. You can find a lot of goodies. You can find some really good fruit. Let's keep looking around here, see what else we can find. We got two X special attacks. And there's a lot of people just hanging out. Let's talk to Hop. Rodri! I'm still not too sure what I should do about all that stuff I told you before. About me being weak and dragging down Lee's good name and all, yeah? But the only thing I can do is get stronger, right? So I'm going to try all kinds of different things against you and see what works. You're on. Then let's do this. I better know I'll battle with my true rival. Help me get my head on straight. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Rodri versus Pokemon Trainer Hop. Let's go ahead and take on our rival. He's feeling a little bit down after he lost a bead. And it also looks like he's caught himself some new Pokemon. He keeps talking about it. Oh, I'm after his victory and I'm counting you to help me grab it. I don't know if we're going to help you grab the victory. We might grab that victory for our own. I'm going to drop the rock tomb here on the Cramorant. Cramorant is going for the dive. So it looks like Hop did get himself a new Pokemon. We're here in an area that's a canyon? How is this Cramorant diving? That's what I'm trying to figure out here. Cramorant caught a fish? So you can dive and catch fish out here in the canyon now? Who would name for a super effective hit that had a chance, right? You're right about that. We're always going for the super effective move. Did that Pokemon just throw a fish at me? What the fudge is going on here in these Pokemon battles? We KO'd it and then it still threw a fish at me. Okay, Hop is going to bring out a Thwacky. I'm feeling pretty good right now, so let's see what we can do with Donatello. Let's see what we can do with our Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I'm still getting over that fish getting thrown at us. That was super weird. I don't know what's going on in these Pokemon battles anymore. They've added such little minuscule moments like that that pop up from time to time that you don't really know when to expect them. I really like the fact that Cramorant which you could tell was the Pelican Pokemon, actually did catch a fish. I'm guessing that must be its ability or something special about it. Let me know in the comments if you guys know what's going on with that Pokemon. It's pretty funky. Let's see if Donatello can stand up to the Thwacky though. We are going to go for the headbutt. It flinched. Let's do it again then, Donatello. Let's go for the headbutt. The Thwacky flinched again. If it keeps flinching, we are going to stay on the offensive then. And Donatello has almost took it down. Have a taste of our true power. Our green power just keeps on growing stronger. Here comes the Razor Leaf. And that is their true power because it is going to be super effective on our water type. How's that? Super effective damage. I'm always looking for an opening. Good work there, Hop. 
We respect you. You've definitely learned a little bit here and there. Let's mix things up, though. We're going to send out Raven. And Raven should be able to wrap up this battle. I'm not too worried about it. Let's go for the pluck. Hop, use the super potion. Okay, Hop. We see you. My eyes are on you, my friend. We got you. And the Thwacky is very close to going down. We should be able to take it down next time without too much trouble. And there we have it. Raven is going to use Pluck. And the Thwacky is out of here, ladies and gentlemen. We are moving on to the next Pokemon. That is going to be a Toxel. Okay, I do know the name of this Pokemon because you guys have been letting me know what Pokemon I should add to our team. And the Toxel is one of those Pokemon that you would like me to add. So I will be keeping an eye out for the Toxel. I'll be catching them. And then I'll be substituting Pokemon into our team when we need to. You guys know that we still have Tiny and Savitar. Two Electric types. And since we took down Nessa, we don't really need both Electric types anymore. So I'll be substituting Pokemon in very soon. Toxel, hit us with the static here. Alright, let's see if we can do a little sum here to take down this Pokemon. Because it's doing more damage to me than I thought. It's using some electric type moves as well. That's a pretty cool Pokemon. I like that it's purple. I like purple Pokemon. You guys already know how it is. Let's wrap this battle up then. I'm going to keep going for the pluck. And the Toxel is down. It took a little while, but we did it, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody's going to gain XP. Hop is going to send out a Silly Cobra. I don't know what I can do to try to win now, but all I can do is try. There's nothing else for it. Hop sent out Silly Cobra. Did Hop go back and catch the Silly Cobra that we saved from Team Yell? My guess is that he did, because I know that there are other connections in Pokemon games where, like, you'll be with your rival, and you'll see a Pokemon that needs help, and then your rival will end up having that Pokemon. So maybe, just maybe, Hop ended up doing that here as well. Let's go for the power trip then, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm not doing much damage to this Pokemon at all. The Brutal Swing isn't going to do a whole lot to us either, though. We are paralyzed. Come on, Raven. We got to snap out of this. Here comes the Brutal Swing again. My man Hop definitely improved this team. It's going to be a lot of fun to see how Hop's team develops as we continue through. He's already strengthening up a lot. It's not as easy to take him down as it was at the beginning. Now we're actually struggling a little bit. Just a little bit though, guys. Not a whole lot. Just a little bit. If we can just tank out this Brutal Swing, we are very... Oh, mother fudger. I got hit with the Paralysis there. And it looks like the Brutal Swing is going to come out. And that has took down Raven. Okay. Okay, Silly Cobra. We see you, we see you, keep it up. Now let's go ahead and bring out Bugs. Bugs is fast, Bugs is strong. Bugs should be able to wrap this battle up against our rival. So let's go ahead and drop that double kick. You gotta be kidding me if this thing doesn't get KO'd. I was about to say, we hit a crit there. Ouch, even I hurt when you managed to land a critical hit like that one. And there we have it guys, we have took down the Silly Cobra. We're all gaining XP up in here, and we defeated Pokemon Trainer Hop. My strategy goes right to Paul when I've got all these bad thoughts running through my head. We got 2640 for winning. Hmm. I tried switching my team members in and out to max out their potential in every matchup, but we just couldn't get it together somehow. Maybe that's why I'm still so weak. But Lee really is the greatest trainer, and I don't want people to be laughing at him all because his little brother's rubbish. It's not enough. I've got to try harder and harder until no one's laughing. I'm off, mate. Off to the kind of find the kind of Pokemon I can really draw the strength out of. Okay, Hop. See you later, my friend. Best of luck to you. I don't think he's letting Lee down at all. That child. Gym challengers should battle for the sake of their own Pokemon. Why well, worry about saving the champion's name? We all know he's unbeatable. Anyway, here's something for letting me watch your battle. We got Alistair's lead card. Thank you, Opal. Now on you go, child. You're headed to the store inside gym next. No, the gym challenge is about having fun.
The mysterious opal has pointed us in the direction that we need to go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to heal us up, and we'll be ready to take on the gym. We're all healed up, so let's get ready to take on our fourth gym challenge of the Galar region. Hope you guys are pumped. Let's make our way inside of the Stow on Side Stadium and get ready for our next challenge. Yo, what's up, everybody? And check it out. It's the ball guy. How's it going, ball guy? What do you have for us this time? I got to tell you, I really like your costume, my dude. Where can I get myself one of those Pokeballs? We got a heavy ball from the ball guy. Thank you so much, ball guy. Let's go ahead and continue on then as we are ready to take on our gym challenge. He's out here just talking about Pokeballs. That's what the ball guy does. And we are ready. Let's uh, talk to these people at the Pokemart. You guys can actually see that there are repels now. Stock up on items. Want to make sure you guys know that there are some good items in there now that we have three badges. Eep, a gym challenger. Are you here to challenge the gym? I am. Okay, in that case, please change into your uniform. Yeah, changing rooms are right over there. Number seven, do your best. You already know we're going to do our best. Lucky number seven. Let's make our way inside of the stadium. Allow me to explain the gym mission for Stowe Onside's gym. To complete the mission, you need to ride in one of these cups and make your way to the goal while trying to avoid obstacles. Let me tell you a bit more about how to operate this fun attraction. Rotate the control stick to the right and cup will start to spin to the right. Rotate it to the left to make the cup spin left. You hit a wall, rotate the stick as quick as you can to get yourself out of that sticky situation. Now have a good time watching the world spin as you try to reach the goal. Then on you spin and good luck. Good luck to us indeed. This is awesome. So Opal was right. This is going to be a fun challenge as we are going to be spinning on through here. Let's see what we can do, ladies and gentlemen. This is actually a little bit hard to control. It's going to take me a little getting used to to maneuver through here. It's almost like we're in a pinball machine and we're the ball. So let's see if I can do it. Yeah, you know what? This is getting a little bit easier. Not too bad at all. You just got to make sure you spin really, really fast and we'll be good to go. There we go. We finished. So we made our way through the first one and we're going to have a battle. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Spin the teacups too much and gym challengers go flying. For real though, have you guys seen that there is nothing under this? So what would happen if we spun a little too fast, went a little too crazy and ended up falling out of the teacup? I really hope they have some nets under there because I have no idea what the safety regulations are here in the Galar region, but some of these places don't seem very, very safe. So we're going up against a Pumpkaboo here, ladies and gentlemen. Pumpkaboo is a ghost-type Pokemon, so Donatello is going to be able... Crit? Come on, are you kidding me? That bullet seed just messed me up. That's okay. Nonetheless, we also have a couple other Pokemon that are going to be ready to jump in. If you guys remember, we have our Galarian Linoon here. So Stripes is a Dark Normal type. We're going to be super effective on all these Ghost-type Pokemon, which is going to make this gym quite easy. So there we have it. The Pumpkaboo has gone down. Let's see what's coming out next. It's going to be Phantom. So yeah, we're going to keep Stripes out here, and we are going to keep on going. A lot of you guys pointed out to me that Stripes is the same name that we gave to one of our Pokemon in Heart Gold. I have to tell you guys, that connection you guys made is correct. That is why I named our Line Noon Stripes. Once in a while, I'll keep the same names for Pokemon that I really, really like, just because it's something that I go with. For example, if I ever have a Turtwig, I nickname it Speedy. Or if I have a Cyndaquil, I nickname it Zuko, because those two names are some of my favorites. So a good eye there. There are little Easter eggs hidden around my Let's Plays, so I'm glad that you guys do find them once in a while. So we're tanking this out quite good. That was a crit again. Wow! And we're still getting hit. 
What is going on here? I'm gonna go for the Night Slash. Let's try to take down this Pokemon, ladies and gentlemen. And the Pumpkaboo is down. So far, so good. I'm liking this, though. Going up against Ghost-type Pokemon, it's gonna be really, really easy for us. We defeated Gym Trainer Clive. And we got 2976 for winning. Now it's time to go back into the teacup. And down we go. Round and round we go, ladies and gentlemen. What are these? These hands. Oh, okay. So this is totally like a pinball machine. See, we're getting shot up by these hands. So now we're going to be able to go to different areas here. Okay, okay, I got this, I got this. We didn't need that last hand. We made it on through. Finish. Let's go jump into our next battle. Before we do that, though, I am stocked up on supplies. Make sure you guys use all the supplies that you got. You do not want to be getting KO'd in these gyms. They're getting pretty tough around here. As I told you guys, we do have stripes ready to go as well. So let's go ahead and put stripes up in front. Let's get ready for our next battle. Back and forth, back and forth. You're spinning back and forth, back and forth. Me too. Here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and take on Gym Trainer Lynn and her ghost type Pokemon. Lynn's going to send out a Corsola. Oh, that is the Galarian form of Corsola. You guys have actually been telling me in the comments that there's a Galarian form of Corsola. And there it is. So I know that it's going to be a ghost type. Our dark type moves are going to be super effective. But that is so cool. I didn't expect to see one here at this gym. I really like it. A ghost type Corsola? That's awesome to get to see here. All the Galarian forms are really, really cool. I have to tell you guys that as of now, I'd have to say that the Linoon has been my favorite since I do know that the Linoon is going to get an evolution later on. But it might not be by the end of the adventure. There might be another Galarian form that I really like. We're doing pretty good here. Let's switch things up. I'm going to go with Raven and see if Raven can take down this Corsola. All our Pokemon got these Dark Ty- Oh, Ancient Power! We tanked it out. It's going to be super effective. But we're okay. Let's see how much the Power Trip is going to do to this Corsola. I need to know which Pokemon we're going to be using going in to the gym battle. The gym mission so far has been going well. And we're going to take these opportunities to see which Pokemon can really handle the Ghost Types. Since I know that Ghost Types can be very, very strong at points. Ooh, Raven's taking more damage than I thought. The Power Trip really isn't doing all that much, ladies and gentlemen. I thought the Power Trip would be doing a little more. But it isn't. So for right now, I got that in mind. I know Donatello is doing pretty good. Stripes is doing very well. Raven doesn't do too much with the power trip right now. So let's go ahead and send out Stripes yet again. We also do have Tiny with Bite. So almost all our Pokemon are going to have a super effective move on these ghost types. Here comes the Ancient Power yet again. Let's go ahead and use that Night Slash. And there we have it. See how much easier it is? We are definitely going to be using Stripes for the gym battle. Because we're going to be doing a lot of damage. We grew a couple levels and we defeated Gym Trainer Lin. We got 3072 for winning. And it is time for us to move on to our third teacup. Round and round we go. I wonder if I can slip on through here. Yeah, I'm getting pretty good at this, ladies and gentlemen. Getting pretty dang good. Now, let's see where I gotta go. This one isn't bouncing me enough. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I think I gotta use this one to bounce over to the big hand. And there we go. The big hand's gonna do it. Take this moment to spin all the way to the right. And there we go. I'm doing quite well. Where's this one bouncing me to? Whoa! That's it. That pushed us all the way through. So, we made it to the finish line. And it looks like we are going to have another battle coming up. These battles have been tough, but I'm feeling pretty good. So, let's go ahead and jump right in. Can you understand what goes to that Pokemon a week two? I don't think so. We are challenged by Gym Trainer Royal. He's going to open up with a Haunter. And that is awesome. It's not a Galarian Haunter, ladies and gentlemen. It's just a normal Kanto Haunter. 
And I have to tell you guys that Haunter is definitely one of my favorite ghost type Pokemon. I think the whole evolutionary line of Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar sticks out to me because when I was a kid, if you guys remember the first season of the Pokemon anime, there's an episode where Ash goes to this lighthouse. He pretty much gets his soul pulled out by the Haunter, the Gengar, and the Ghastly, and he ends up flying around with them. They take him to an area with toys, and I just really like that because it makes you think about ghost-type Pokemon. If you really think about it, ghost-type Pokemon are just lonely, and that's what I got from that episode. They just wanted a friend, and that's why they did that to Ash. After they pass away and they turn into ghost type Pokemon, which I'm assuming is what happens to some of these Pokemon, they're gonna be lonely. So, of course, you know, they're gonna be looking for friends and they're gonna be doing things here that are naughty because they're just trying to draw some attention and get some friends to play with. I got a lot of moments from that, you know, I got a lot of little feelings from that where you're like, dang, I've been through moments like that myself where. I felt lonely, and all you want is friends, so I couldn't relate to them a whole lot. And ever since, I'd have to tell you guys, Ghost-type Pokemon have been some of my favorites. I really like them a lot. They're also very, very strong. We defeated Gym Trainer Roy. So today's question of the day is going to be, what is your favorite Ghost-type Pokemon? Let me know in the comments. Now it looks like we're going to be ready to take on the Gym Challenge. You can make your way to the entrance here if you guys would like. We're good. We're done with the mission. Let's make our way inside and get ready for the battle. I'm going to heal up our Pokemon then. Get them prepared. Get them ready, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be going after our fourth gym badge. This is going to be a lot of fun since all our Pokemon are going to be pretty strong here against these ghost types. I got super potions. I got revives. Let's go ahead and run right in. Stripes is going to be our opener. Let's do this! Goal! Gym mission cleared! Malister! Here I go! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Rodri versus Gym Leader Alistair and his ghost type Pokemon. Alistair's gonna open up with a mask. We have stripes up in front, so let's go ahead and do this thing then, ladies and gentlemen. It is showtime, and I'm feeling good. We also have our Dynamax bands ready to go if we need to. For right now, I'm going to hold down on the Dynamaxing. We're going to go for the Night Slash. We're going to try to take down as many Pokemon as possible with Stripes here. Stripes Pickup kicked in. Your Mass Pickup. Stripes Wandering Spirit. They're swapping abilities apparently here. Here comes the Brutal Swing. Lucky for us, that isn't going to do a whole lot. And they're swapping abilities yet again. It's happening back and forth. Let's go for one more Night Slash. And let's take down this Your Mask. Your mask is down, level 34. That's pretty strong. So you guys can see that the Pokemon we're going to be going up against are going to be a little bit higher level. But I believe in our team. Everybody's gained next XP. Next is going to be Mimikyu. Okay, let's see what we can do against Mimikyu. You know what would be a lot of fun is to send out our Pikachu against Mimikyu. Let's go ahead and do it. I told you guys, I always like to have fun with the battles. So let's have some fun here with our Pikachu. Let's see what Savitar can do. Mimikyu has come out and it is going to be level 34 as well. So that's a pretty strong Mimikyu. I'm going to try to get rid of the disguise here. So let's see what we can do to the Mimikyu, ladies and gentlemen. Mimikyu is powering up. We see you, Mimikyu. You keep on doing your thing. We are going to go for the spark. And there we go. The disguise is gone. So now we can actually start putting some damage onto the Mimikyu, which is what I wanted. Our Savitar is hanging in there. Let's go for the Thunder Wave. Since the Hone Claws keeps coming out, I want to paralyze this Pokemon. I don't want it to end up sweeping my team. Imagine Alistair here uses three or four of those Hone Claws. Get real dangerous real quick. And there we go. Mimikyu is paralyzed. Now we can get on the offensive here. 
And I'm pretty sure Mimikyu is still paralyzed. So let's go ahead and go for that spark. And we're doing a good bit of damage to it. The slash has come out. And there it is. I knew it. And it's a crit as well. That was a little bit unnecessary considering Mimikyu was powered up like three times there. I'm going to switch out to Donatello. Donatello has been very strong for us. Now let's go for the bite. See how much damage that is going to do the Mimikyu. The Shadow Sneak is coming out. Ooh. Another crit. Are you serious? That did a lot of damage too. All right. I'm going to go for it, ladies and gentlemen. Mimikyu's paralyzed. I knew it. I knew it. It was going to come through for us. I had a feeling about it. And there we go. The bite has took down Mimikyu. We hit a crit. About time we had a little bit of luck going back to us. I mean, we've been getting critted so much. Everybody's going to be gaining some levels here, ladies and gentlemen. In a... Poor Sola is going to be coming out. Like Curse? Curse Sola. Ah, I get it. This must be Corsola's evolution. It is now a Curse Sola. I like it a lot. Let me go ahead and use that Super Potion on our Donatello. And let's get ready to take down the Poor Sola. Poor Sola is going to go for the Hex. Oh my goodness. These moves are doing so much damage. Well, I'm just going to go for the bite. Donatello went for it. All right, Donatello. And the Corsola almost went down there. If I knew we were going to be faster, then I would have just gone for the bite from the start. Corsola is going to go for the Hex. Good work, Donatello. And Donatello is going to go down. So far, so good. Our Pokemon are definitely stepping up here. Now, let's go ahead and send out Tiny. Yeah, Tiny has bite. I'm hoping that we're faster than the Corsola. If our Donatello was faster, then our Tiny should definitely be faster. So let's go ahead and go for that bite. And there we go. Corsola is out of here, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing very good here during these battles. Last but not least is going to be Gengar. I was just talking to you guys about Haunter and Gassy and Gengar. My very last Pokemon, how lonely, how frightening. Here it comes, and Gengar is level 36. I'm going to go for the bite, and I hope we're ready, because here comes Gengar, Gigantamax, swallow everything in darkness. Here comes Dynamax, Gengar. Would you look at Gengar? It's absolutely terrifying. It's so huge that only its mouth comes out. Let's go for the bite then, Tiny. Wow, that actually did a lot to it. Good job, Tiny. Here comes the Max Darkness. And that is going to do a lot of damage to us. Tiny tanked it out. We have 26 HP left. So there we go, Tiny. There we go. And that was a crit as well. Tiny's doing really good for us. Let's go for another bite here onto the Gengar. That is going to be super effective. We almost took down the Gengar. G-Max Terror, it's like Shadow Tag. You won't get away. I won't let you. Gengar used G-Max Terror. And good work, Tiny. You did awesome there. We did so much damage to the Gengar. What would a Dynamax Tiny there? We probably would have been able to take it down. But here's what I've been wanting to do. So let's go ahead and send out Strife. And this is the Pokemon that I have chosen to Dynamax for this battle ladies and gentlemen so it is time to dynamax our line noon stripes this one's for you boom there we have it that is going to be a dynamax stripes we got a dynamax line noon out here we are Gigantamaxed as well. Here comes the Max Darkness. And that is not going to do a whole lot to us. But you guys know our Max Darkness is going to do a whole lot to the Gengar. So here we go. Stripes end this battle with that Max Darkness. And the Gengar is down, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Gengar has fainted and exploded, apparently. We took down the Gigantamax. Gengar, and we're gonna gain some XP.
We defeated gym leader Alistair. I nearly lost my mask from the shock level as well. I can see your skill for what it is. We got 5760 for winning. Crumbs. That was ace. Here, a ghost badge. Thank you, Alistair. With that, we have obtained our fourth out of eight badges here in the Galar region. We got four more to go. And now we can catch Pokemon up to level 40. G good luck with uh, everything. Thanks, Alistair. Challenger Roger, you defeated our gym leader, Alistair. Take this TM as a reward for your victory. We got TM 77 Hex. This relentless attack does massive damage to a target and a complimentary ghost type uniform. Hey, we got the ghost uniform as well. Awesome. The ghost badge suits you. You're right on track, Rodri. Does it suit us? Maybe it does. It is purple. Let's make our way on out. Bow Wark? What's up, Yamper? Looks like my Yamper really likes you, huh? Anyway, we've run into each other at a good time. You know the mural here in Stowe on side? It's said to tell the story of the hero Galar as well. Though, what's here today is actually a replica of ancient art that used to be here. We tend to have surprisingly sharp insight, so I was wondering what you might think when you see the ruins. What was that? Well, what in the world was that? Sounds like it came from the direction of the ruins, too. Let's have a look. Come along, Yampa. Well, we're gonna go too. It was a kaboom. So some sort of explosion is happening here. What's going on? Sonia, what's going on up in here? What's going on up there? Why don't you keep going up there? Why, why are you sending us first? Come on, Sonia. You already know how everything is around here. You've had your gym challenge. We're still young. Destroy it, destroy it all. We're gonna find those wishing stars. We've got to bring the chairman more wishing stars if you want to please him. Kubaraja! If you're truly the chairman's Pokemon, then you should feel grateful for this chance to help him find wishing stars. Bead? Oh my, you again! So you think that you can start collecting wishing stars now and get in the chairman's favor? That's the way of things, is it? I see, so you do have some cunning in you. But I won't have it. I won't allow anyone to stand in my way. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Rodri versus Pokemon Trainer Bead. So it was a bead causing that ruckus. Let's see what we can do here. First is going to be a duo Scion. We have stripes up in front, so I'm feeling quite good here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go for that Night Slash. And it is going to do a lot of damage. We've took down Bead before. This guy has a lot of Psychic type Pokemon. And that was a crit. Unnecessary. Little crit. We'll take it. Let's see what's coming out next. Hmm, I've already seen more than enough to judge you and your team's abilities. We're gonna gain some XP. Everybody's gaining levels. You're gaining levels. We're gaining levels. We are gonna learn Drill Peck, and I am gonna get rid of Pluck. So there we have it, guys. Now Raven has learned Drill Peck. Donatello grew to 29. Uh, Hat Trem is coming out. I'm feeling pretty good right now. I feel like Stripes is going to be able to take down any of these Pokemon coming out. So let's stay on the offensive here. And let's take down Bead. Stripes, hit us with that nice slash. Okay, that did a lot of damage. And we're going up against level 35 Pokemon here, guys. So we're a little outleveled. And we're still doing this good. Let's go for that nice slash one more time. And that is going to take down the Hatrem. See you later, little hat Pokemon. Let's see what the third of Bead's Pokemon is going to be. Bugs grew to 34. It's going to be a Ponyta. Okay, let's do it. We're going to be going after a Galarian Ponyta. Another one of those Pokemon that I'm keeping an eye on that you guys have told me to add to the team. Ooh, the Fairy Wind is going to take us down, though. Crits are all over the place today, huh? I keep seeing them coming out. It's pretty wild. Let's switch out to Tiny, who did really good for us 
in that gym battle. And let's go for that bite. I have to tell you guys, Tiny's a lot stronger than I realized. It is what you would call the Growlithe and Arcanine equivalent of the Galar region, since Tiny's fully evolved. That's it. And it's a dog Pokemon. So it's pretty much like the Luxray, you know, those sort of things. You can find them in one region. I have to win this for the chairman. Do you really think I'll let you keep me from getting that? Okay, well, the Gotharita is going to be coming out. And we are going to wrap this battle up. Let's go for the bite then. And let's take down. Ooh, I thought we were going to take it down there. The side beam's coming out. We'll be A-OK. -okay. And let's go ahead and do it. The bite will take that. Oh, a super potion. Bead doesn't want this battle to end, ladies and gentlemen. I see you, Bead. I see you. Let's hit that bite, Tiny. And one more should do it. Let's wrap it up. This bite is going to take down Bead's last Pokemon. We're going to gain some XP. Savitar grew to 31. We defeated Pokemon Trainer Bead. This has to be some kind of mistake. I demand a do-over. We got 4,200 for winning. But why? How can this be? How can someone like you get in my way? I was the one chosen by the chairman. I was the one who was to defeat the champion. I'm one of the elite. Someone who can shoulder the future of the Galar region. Challenger Bead. I wonder what you were up to when you asked about Chairman Rose's Kuburaja. Can't believe you tried to use the Chairman's Pokemon to destroy a historical site. Who cares for some ancient ruin when the next thousand years are at stake? Did you stand in the path of a Pokemon symbol beam or something? How do you expect to support the Chairman with that sort of thinking? Young Bead. Pains me to have to say this, but I am truly disappointed. It's true that I am the one who found you back when you were all alone. I saw talent in you. You reminded me a little bit of myself back when I was young. That's why I sent you to a trainer school to give you a chance of success. You're trying to destroy the mural? Part of Galar's history? You show no love toward Galar. You're clearly not a worthy challenger for the gym challenge. We will decide what to do with you later. For now you will return to Hammerlock. You must be joking, right? You're disqualifying me from the chip challenge, but you're the one who endorsed me! There are a hundred different ways we could sort this out. Why are you choosing the worst possible option? Challenger B, I will be taking those wishing stars that you have gathered. Ah, Sonia and Rodri too. Terrible shame all this. An absolute disaster. I never wish to see us lose challenges for this sort of reason. Yeah, we do what we must to do to keep things fair and sportsmanlike. You know, during one of Beat's batches, I heard the announcer say that Beat has no family. Apparently it was Rose A who took Beat under his wing and so Beat was battling for the chairman's sake. One awful turn of events. I hope the mirror survived all that. Not a brilliant turn of events, but the ruins were brought into light for us to see. What does this tell us about Galar's legends? Pokemon! Right, more than any hero, there's those things that appear to be Pokemon that stand out. Not just that, but those Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and shield as if they were using them. Anything else look interesting to you? The hero is actually two people? Oh, good observation! There really were two heroes. But if that's the case, then why only the one statue at the Boudou drop-in? More than any statue of a hero or tapestry, 
These ruins made in truly ancient times must show us the real truth. Which means... The shield is a Pokemon! Yep, I was thinking the same thing. Seems like at some point in history, the sword and shield were combined with the two actual Pokemon and treated as the same thing. But then what? They just faded from history? Two young heroes, the sword and shield were actually Pokemon, but why would the truth of these ruins be hidden when the stories were depicted in artwork? With your help, I really feel like we made a big discovery here. Thanks! I'll give you a couple of these, so you keep giving it your best in the gym challenge too, okay? Guess you'll be headed to Bellalea next, right? We got two revives! And you guys just heard it here. There's a statue that were hidden behind Stoneside's famous mural. They depict two heroes and two Pokemon. And she just told us we're making our way out of here. We're going to be making our way to another city next time, ladies and gentlemen. We took care of a lot today. We got our fourth badge. And it sounds like Bede has been disqualified from the gym challenge. So we don't have to worry about Bede any longer. Next time, we will be continuing from here. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Goodbye!